Okay, welcome back to tutorial two. In this, we're looking at not actually the master. That one's all done, that's put aside. We're not looking at connecting them. We're just distributing to students a blank class one note that is ready to go. So we can actually kind of ignore the master at the moment, but remember, so we'll just put it out of importance. It's all about the students and setting up the class notebook. You want to have your master done in the background so you're ready to go with the next step. Let's revisit the importance of the naming conventions. So this time we look in the class. So you'd go to your sector timetable and you see the hey, I teach the English, the science, the math, year seven, and it's class number seven, three, two, whatever it is. So be aware of that. We're just setting up one class at a time. So there's only one group of students. You're managing just one group. So this will be 17, year 7. It's class number 3 and it's engineering. And class number 3 on the end to keep it very, very clear. All of this is done through the office.com. So you go in there and you log on. When you log on there, you can present something that looks long like this. What we're actually looking for is the class notebook. This one here which will then take us to the item here where you can go on and do the tutorial. So just to reiterate, your master OneNote course will end up being distributed to all the other classes bit at a time, just like you're doing your photocopying. Hey, today's lesson, this week's lesson, this task, this activity, you distribute from your master so your master never gets touched by the students. But today, we're not worrying about the distribution part of it. We're just saying, let's set them up. In fact, you're only really worrying about probably the one class you're teaching of these group. Once you've got that done, other teachers can then distribute their own from that lead teacher one note course master.